Pisces Rising June 2021 has an emphasis on home and family life and maybe making sense because you suddenly have more control over it. So if you're excited to dive into what this June holds for you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss what the stars have in store for you. So before that, I do want to mention that Swan Bitcoin is the safest, easiest place to recurringly dollar cost average or buy into Bitcoin on a repeating basis. I love Swan. The team's awesome. I use Swan to buy in every month my own Bitcoin holdings. So if you want to check that out down below, you get $10 of free Bitcoin upon your first purchase. So yeah, use my ref link, help a girl out. <laughs> if you don't know me, you do now. I'm Marin. Let's get into June. <laughs> so this whole month, we do have Saturn in your 12th house. So restriction, maturity, growing up, gaining responsibility in the house of your mental health and spiritual practices, being at odds with Uranus, the planet of upheaval and liberation in your third house of writing, communication, day-to-day -day commuting, and routine. So trying to stick to a certain spiritual path might not be in line with what you actually want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And it might be learning about how any kind of rigidity as to what you're letting yourself explore doesn't work well. But there's also a Mercury retrograde in your fourth house of home and family for most of the month. So watch out about miscommunications or just troublesome interactions with family or at home. So we start the month with the fourth uh, through the sixth having Mars in your Cancer fifth house. So a bit of trouble with children, romance, or creativity creativity opposite to Pluto in your Capricorn 11th house. So some manipulation on the part of friends or larger organizations. They might be manipulating you into having the trouble with a romantic partner or a creative situation here or a kid. On the 10th, there is a solar eclipse in your fourth house, a new beginning on steroids that is a clean slate for the next six months to build on top of. So maybe you're suddenly moving homes or redecorating or in a very different family dynamic situation. On the 13th through the 14th, the sun in your Gemini fourth house will be square Neptune in your first house. So trying to get these things done in home and family life could be difficult because you don't know your involvement or you're lack, your lacking clarity around them. You are not sure what your part is in this new beginning and so that might delay things a bit. Then on the 21st, Venus in your Cancer fifth house. So Venus, love and harmony in your fifth house of like sex and creativity. Try Neptune in your first house. Those look really good, guys. If you're looking to go on a date or be artistic or like anything fun, 21st looks like a really good day. And then the 22nd, Mercury stations direct in your Gemini fourth house. So communicating about this at home project and new development suddenly gets much, much easier as the month goes on, specifically as we enter the next month of July. But the 23rd through the 24th repeats a bit of this Venus in your fifth house. So cute shit with uh, romance or creativity or kids opposite Pluto and Capricorn. It's like you're being manipulated by a larger party or a larger organization. But on the 24th, we do have a full moon in Capricorn, a letting go of some of these group dynamics that could be because you just can't put up with them anymore. And then on the 30th, Mars in your Leo sixth house, so a bit of trouble with coworkers or your physical health, is opposite Saturn in your 12th, where it looks like something that you're not letting yourself do because you're afraid of giving up control or like the rigidity of a schedule is actually showing up now in your health and wanting you to switch some things around and become more fluid. If you have any thoughts around what this June holds for you coming up, anything in your chart that you want to share that's a little bit different or what you think you know this could manifest as, leave me a comment down below. would love to hear how this is all showing up for you. And in the meantime, let's get out some of the tarot cards. So the tarot card that we have for Pisces rising is King of Crypto. So this is the King of Pentacles. This is big daddy energy. This is like, how do you secure the bag? I think you're either buying a house or redecorating and it feels very much like I did this, I did this. <laughs> the Witch's Wisdom card we have for Pisces Rising is Incubation, Ostara. So keeping your ideas internal and incubated until they literally manifest could be what this is signaling, where if you have projects coming up, things that you wanna do with a partner or creativity, keep it internal until it's literally time to do so or else the idea may not incubate to its fullest extent. Otherwise, make sure that you like, subscribe, and let me know down below how you are feeling, what you are excited about, for this June. Would love to hear from you as we get into the thick of eclipse season. So yeah, see you in the next one and take care. Yeah. Yeah. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night.